right, so let's go ahead and make our shaker. We are making a dry shaker today. This is a really fun one, you guys, and I tried to pick one that would be an easy win once again for you guys. Okay, I went ahead and warmed up my UV resin in my bottle warmer. You guys can just use a cup of hot water if you want to, but it does make it a lot easier to cast and you'll have a much better finish if you do that extra step. So what I'm doing is I'm using my silicone cup and we are going to go ahead and fill it about three quarters of the way. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put two spoonfuls of the Burning Love glitter in. So we're doing one, two. And you guys can use any glitter you want. You don't have to use what's in the kit. There are some fun little heart shapes in there though. It's perfect for what we're going after here. So take your silicone brush and go ahead and mix in your glitter. And once you feel like it's a really good consistent, you want the light to be able to get through the glitter and resin. So make sure you don't add too much glitter. You want it to be a really good, but still runny consistency like this, okay? So once you feel like that is all mixed in, we are gonna go ahead and get our pour done. Now what I like to do is I like to start from the middle and work my way to the edge. So I'm going to take my lighter and I'm just gonna get rid of any surface bubbles from the glitter. They will continue rising to the top and you can continue popping them. So I would suggest doing that, but for the sake of this video, we are gonna go ahead and start pouring. So we're gonna pour in the middle of our mold, just like this. Now you wanna pour really slow because you want that resin to slowly run down into the crevices of the mold without trapping air pockets. So if you pour too fast, it's not going to be able to run where it needs to run. It's going to try to trap those air pockets. So just slow is better with this. We're going to spin our piece around and check to make sure that it is solid all the way around the edges. And you can even pick up your mold and look at the bottom and make sure that the glitter got all the way to the bottom and that you don't have any air pockets. If you notice that you have air pockets, you can simply take a weeding tool, just be careful not to scratch the mold, and you can try to loosen them by going in and just kind of scooping where you think they might be but don't scratch the mold. <laughs> just do it very easily, just to try to loosen the air pockets and help them get to the surface. So now I'm gonna take my lighter and go over the surface of my shaker. And then we are going to go ahead and cure it. So I'm gonna move my lamp over and I am actually curing it at half waters. So we're gonna do 18 watts to start. And we're doing that for 60 seconds and then I will turn up the wattage a little bit and then we're going to flip it over and do the same thing. All right, so now our shaker should be completely cured. So let's go ahead and take it out of the mold. I love this glitter. It's so pretty. This is going to be perfect. Oh yeah, look at that finish, you guys. It's beautiful. So now you can fill it. All right, so I did cure my tools at the same time. It just makes for easy cleanup. Then you can just peel the resin out of the cup and reuse it, which is great. And we are going to dome this after we get our shaker filler put in. Now, you notice that I gave you a piece of shaker film that is cut perfect for the top of the shaker. That way there's no measuring, no drawing, none of that. I wanted this to be as easy as possible. So you can actually do a couple different things here. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm going to do, but the possibilities are endless and you guys can do it however you want. 
this is the film that you need to make sure that you're peeling back before you apply it to the shaker itself. So you can use a piece of tape or packing slip or something on there to peel, to find which side it's on, by the way. All right, so this is the clay that was in included. So I'm gonna put some of this right into the middle of this shaker. And you can do as little or as much as you want. I want it to have some mobility, so I'm not gonna do too much. Notice there's one little lip. Now you can do it on the outside too. You can do it on both the inside and the outside. It's completely up to you, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different on the outside here. We are going to add these cute little heart-shaped rhinestone crystals, which is gonna be super cute. whatever fixins you want added in there. Then what we're gonna do is take our sandpaper and you can do this before if you want to, but we're just going to sand the edge. All the way around, just to roughen it up and that helps the resin stick to it better. Then take your shop cloth, Wipe it down like that. Then we're going to take our resin and we are going to, I'm just gonna add a little bit to my mat to make it a little bit easier to work from. And then I'm going to just pick up a little bit on my silicone brush and go around the shaker and you just want a thin layer you don't want it too much or it'll slide around so just enough to coat the surface then check your piece from the side make sure that there's resin all the way around especially if you're doing a liquid shaker which would be another tutorial but I'm trying to keep it simple for you guys so now that that is on there, we've got resin all the way around, take your film, find where it peels back, and that is the underside. And the reason that's the underside is because it's the cleanest side. So we're gonna take that and size it up right on top of your shaker, like that. And just give it a gentle tap make sure that it's on there all the way and make sure that it's not hanging over anywhere and then we are going to give that a cure so we're going to cure this for about 30 seconds all right so now that our film is on and you guys can see it's movable and it's so cute now we're just going to top it off with the final coat of resin and it'll be done so let's take our UV resin and we are just going to add resin right to the middle of our shaker and using your silicone brush you are going to move that resin from the middle to the edges right up against the edge there. You want it to be just similar to the acrylic blank where it's right up to that edge. Once you have the resin nice and even, you're gonna take your lighter and run it across your shaker. That just will eliminate any bubbles that you may have created when you were spreading it. And we're gonna let this rest for a minute or two and then do that again to make sure there are no bubbles and then we'll start our cure. All right, so now that I have let it rest, I'm going to turn my wattage down to six. You can achieve the same thing by holding your lamp higher above you if you don't have a lower wattage lamp or just curing it in very small increments like three seconds on, five seconds off, three seconds on, five seconds off. 
So we're gonna go ahead and start our cure. We're starting at six and I'm just slowly going to bump the wattage up as it starts to set. And we will eventually work our way up to the 36 watts and this only takes about 120 seconds total starting at the lower wattage. All right, so this is done curing. Let's take a peek, you guys. Look at that shine, it's beautiful. So this is a dry shaker. You can make it a wet shaker if you want to. You can make it a liquid shaker just by drilling a little hole and then sealing it up when you're done. Um, to clean up any edges from the mold, so if you have any extra resin that has gone over the side of the mold, just use your deburring tool to gently shave away any of those little extra pieces that may have come over the side of the mold there. It just prevents having to sand. It's just an easier way of doing it. We do have this tool in the shop as well. So now it's nice and smooth and there's your shaker. Super cute. And it's the perfect size for a badge reel. Hope you guys loved this box as much as we did. Have a great time making your things.